So far, we learned about microservices, monolithic, and their advantages and disadvantages, and also we learned functional decomposition. Now let's learn how we can scale the microservices. For uh, In our example e-commerce application, we decomposed it to many services, and then we basically had a lot of services in which one of the services is uh, search and product listing. Um, definitely in any e-commerce e application, the more load usually goes to search and uh, product page because user will be searching a lot and then after searching for a couple of minutes and they only pick one or more uh, products, um, put it to the cart and then check out, right? So usually the heavy load will be on the search and product. So we decomposed, but the load on search and product is more, so we have to scale out. What are the different strategies we can uh, scale the microservices on? So there is a concept called as scale queue. Uh, what it basically says is if the cube is your application, then you can basically grow this cube in three different directions, obviously X, Y, Z in three dimensions. So the X direction basically represents horizontal scaling that everyone knows. And uh, the Z direction is basically you can scale using data partitioning technique. And the you know, Y direction or Y axis is basically functional decomposition. That's what we did it when we convert monolithic to microservices. Okay, now how can we scale our microservices using horizontal scaling? Definitely it's so simple, right? So you have a microservice that is search and product microservice. Now, if you want to scale this one, all you have to do is run a du duplicate copy of the same service. That's all. You are running the second one, you might run the third one, scale up to n number of uh, server servers of the same microservice to serve, uh, scale out to serve more requests. That's all. You will obviously have other components like load balance and all that's definitely needed. Uh, in microservices, you will have a service discovery API gateway and all of that, but that's the concepts. Those are the concepts we, have, we will learn in the upcoming videos. But basically horizontal scaling is scale your one small or uh, you know, individual service uh, horizontally to scale it up more. So the next one is basically the y-axis scaling called as functional decomposition. Um, you might say that we already did it. That's, that's how we ended up uh, to microservices. But it doesn't say is that's the end of it, right? We can actually decompose the search and product page more again and then make more services out of it. Like for example, search and product page can have can be decomposed into more services. Say uh, search product page can be decomposed into three different services. That is maybe just the search as a microservices and the product listing as one more microservices and just the product page as one micro microservice. Um, so that's also possible, right? So this is the way you can actually do uh, functional decomposition and scale out. And obviously you can't just use only one technique and then keep scaling out. You will be ending up using combination of the technique. Say you scale by functional decomposition and also you can scale this using horizontal scaling again. So that's one way. The other way is data partitioning. What it says is, say, suppose if you have a microservice, you can scale by partitioning the data. So the partitioning is basically uh, the same technique which we use in RDBMS table partitioning. The same way we can actually scale the servers or the service by using data partition. Say, suppose you have a microservice, say user management service um, or user service. Now we want to scale user service using data partition technique. How do we do it? So we have only one service. That means that, okay, the number of requests we are coming and we, we, we are happy with one server. Um, that means that this server is basically now handling all the users starting, from, starting with the letter A to Z. Now, if you want to scale out, what we can do is add one more server, update uh, the partitioning technique to the first server will basically handle from A to N, and the second server will basically handle all the users uh, starting uh, the name starting with N to Z. So if you want to scale out even more, we can add more servers and update the partition data partitioning keys um, um, to something else, say A to C, say, and this guy handled from D to 
say k and this guy from k to p or and the other guy from p to z something like this so basically you're scaling out by partitioning the data this could be user id range or it could be user ID starting name or it could be any other strategy which you really like it uh, we can use consistent hashing here as well to distribute the traffic there are so many other techniques as well so basically the what we have to learn from the other scale cube is there are three different techniques we can actually use to scale the microservices. And obviously there is, you can ask, there's vertical scaling as well. That is also an option, but you cannot really keep on scaling that because there is a um, hard end to it because you only get a bigger machine of, a, you know, limited cores and RAM and whatever hardware you need, right? So uh, vertical scaling is not really an option. So, so these are the three different techniques we can use to scale the microservices.